The latest book in the Painting War series looks at the Dark Ages and suggests a range of different methods to get your miniatures painted up the right way. As always, the techniques on show are shown step by step and with practice should really make your warbands stand out. After the usual excellent advice regarding tools, the colour wheel and more, there are a number of pages that look at methods to paint different skin tones, hair and clothing, with some great tips on painting Scottish and Irish tartan, cape decoration and also armour, from chain to scale and lamellar. There are also examples on how to paint shields in general and interestingly how to paint particular colours or shades on shields to really make them pop. In a period known for its browns and greys with darker coloured clothing being the norm this is a great way to make your figures stand out on the tabletop. The issue of cloaks and fur capes is explored over two pages with advice on how to lift them using washers and highlights so they are a separate part of the miniature's outfit. Moving through flags, terrain and basing with some interesting techniques we have a series of 39 files that focus in on painting examples drawn from the who's who of the Dark Ages, moving from the human form of one of the Norse gods themselves to those nations known for going a Viking, Swedish, Norwegians, Danes and more. We then move through Normans, Bretons, Flemish, Anglo-Danish and Anglo-Saxons. One page deals with Arabs, then we're back to Europe with Franks, Welsh, Scots, Irish and even Monks. Interestingly, there are also Norse Gaels and Skralings, plus the Rus, Kagan and Magyar. Every page has information on the colours used, plus the shading and mixing needed to achieve certain effects. On the vast majority of pages are tips or historical facts that add another layer to this great resource. As has become the norm with the Painting War series, this is a very accessible painting guide with some excellently painted examples of miniatures from Gripping Beast, Artisan and Crusader. The level of research that has gone into the creation of this high quality production appears to be in depth and the quality of the brushmanship exhibited by Alberto Mateus is fantastic. Once again, here is a resource which covers a great deal of ground in relatively few pages, with plenty of ideas and support for those looking to recreate the warriors of a bygone age. Visit North Star Military Figures to order your copy from the UK or Brigade Games in the US.